Smooches! Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today we're jumping right into it. So this is gonna be a hair tutorial featuring a company by the name of Julia Hair. They sent over this gorgeous 13 by four human hair lace wig. It's 24 inches in length, 150% density. And the icing on the cake, it is an ombre highlight wig. So we're playing in color today. So this was already pre-parted as a center part. It was already bleached as far as the knots goes. So it's going to be super easy to get right into the install. You guys know me. I love my electric hot comb. Anywhere there's lace, I love to make sure it is bone straight at the root so that the wig will look like it's coming out of my scalp, literally. I have not applied any product to the hair at all. All I've done before this, well, I went ahead and cut down the lace a little bit. And the reason I did that is because my eyebrows are filled in and sometimes when that lace covers your eyebrows it'll kind of just like dull them out pretty much mess up your eyebrows so I went ahead and cut it just so that it would not ruin my look and again I'm just pressing out the lace and the top of the hair before I go ahead and cut off the rest of the lace I just like to prep my wigs as much as possible one of the great things about that is it oh and this is the back of the way the wig looks so my hair is braided it pretty flat uh, you know underneath my wig so it did like look like there's a little bit of a hump there but that's just the way that wig was sitting at the moment the other thing that I noticed is that this wig does not match my complexion along the hairline so I'm gonna go ahead and do my quick and easy lace tint lace tint hack and you guys know I love to use a foundation that is the color of my complexion I'll have the one I like linked in the description box I'll use about three or four pumps and I'll buff it in to the lace I blow dry that to help it to set so that it doesn't like transfer all over my hair and my wig cap and then you're good to go so now the lace blends with my complexion even better and sometimes it won't be perfect here it looks a little bit red um you know you'll be able to go in at the very end and like add powder or whatever to offset if it's not the perfect color in this case it was it just looks a little bit red here so don't worry at all now another thing you can do is go ahead and tweeze out the hairline. This one did come pre-plucked and you can definitely go in even more but for me I opted to just keep it as is and I'm going to be very very pleased with the results. If you've seen the thumbnail then you already know it's going to look so fire. So here I'm using an eyebrow razor. Now the reason I like an eyebrow razor is because it'll kind of make it look jagged. Now for some of you, if you're a beginner, you're like, why would you want it to look jagged or messed up? It's because that lace, when it's like a blunt straight cut, it's a little bit easier to see it. Like if somebody's standing in front of you and the lace is perfectly straight cut, you know, it's just easier to see it. So you want to be as unclockable as possible. And that's why we use the eyebrow razor. I still will use the scissors as well. But you know, this is just a different option to help with the slayage. So now we're bonding the wig down. I know you guys are wondering, like, why am I applying so much of the same spray? The spray does dry pretty fast fast and you want to make sure that it gets everywhere and that it bonds really 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 good so I like to spray a good amount and as you guys can see I kind of chase it with the rag because you don't want it to drip all over your face it will ruin your makeup it will dry hard and kind of irritating so I kind of just will clean up as I go but I do want a good amount to be there because this is not a glue this is actually hairspray like a holding spray so it really has to be you know like a nice thick coat to really 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 get the wig to lay down and stay I'm gonna chase that with a blow dryer and the reason to use a blow dryer is because it seals it in now in the beginning of my YouTube career when I first started learning how to do my own wigs I never ever ever used a blow dryer mainly because I had small kids and I didn't want to wake them up because typically I film when they're asleep and once I realized the huge difference in using a blow dryer specifically this one that I'm using here it was a game changer like I act like I don't even know how to bond a wig without a blow dryer anymore 
because literally it feels like it vacuum seals the wig on your head so if you're having trouble with bonding your wigs down especially when you're using um, a holding spray like got to be glued spray use a blow dryer and it will change your life now I'm going to make sure that it sets. So I'm going to just take a piece of elastic. I'm going to tie it around the hairline. And usually you can use this or you can use a scarf or you can use styling strips. And you pretty much just put it there and then you can blow dry on top of that. Or you can go ahead and, you know, continue to style the rest of your wig just to make sure that that hairline is super flat, super blended, super melted, and it's going to lay down super nice. Even when it comes to like taking your showers or going to sleep, it's a good idea to use this method with the elastic band to help the wig to stay in place. Just a quick little tip and you can find the elastic um, like at Walmart and stuff. I'll have some linked in the description box. Now I'm going in with that same old electric hot comb and you guys can see how nice the hairline looks already. I'm going to go ahead and um, use a little bit of product and make a little bit of baby hair because you guys know I just can't live without it. This time I'm going to do something a little bit different and just do baby hair along the sides as well as some sideburns and then we're going to come back and cut and curl the hair. Baby hair does look a little bit different. I think it looks really good. Obviously, everybody's not going to like it. Once it sets and I trim it down a little bit, it's going to look so, so, so good. It's not too in your face because it's not in the center. And the way I'm styling my hair, you really honestly won't even be able to see it at all. But I really, really, really like it. And I've been trying different ways to do my baby hair just, you know, to perfect them all. So now I'm going to cut layers. I pretend like I know what I'm doing. I honestly think I cut a little bit too much or not even too much. just too thick of a bang in the very front. I could, I could have done this a little bit thinner and kept some of the length in the front. But, you know, trial and error. I'm going to be doing a lot of cutting and a lot of curling in my upcoming videos because this is something that I want to perfect. Once I perfect my cut and my curl, I'm going to work on, you know, perfecting the color. And then I'm going to be, you know, perfecting my installs as far as using actual glues right now I don't use glue almost ever just because I don't want to jeopardize my hairline especially because I'm going through postpartum with my youngest baby now uh, two years ago I went postpartum I had postpartum hair loss with my three-year-old and before that I had postpartum hair loss with my now five-year-old so my hairline has been through enough and that is why I don't put any glue at all but again it's I still want to perfect it and learn it so that I can teach it to you guys so here I am just doing some curls. I'm doing them forward towards you guys, literally just practicing. I really didn't want curls. Um, honestly, I just wanted to add some body to it. And that's why I really didn't care about, um, you know, the size of the curls or how long I left the curling iron on the hair. I literally wanted to add body. And I think I did a decent job. Um, I definitely will go back in and do some smaller curls, some tighter curls to perfect the look. But again, I just wanted to add some body and some fullness to the hair. This one is 150 
50% density, I believe. It may be 180. Check the description box to be 100% certain on which one I have. But I just kind of felt like it wasn't too thin, but I still just wanted a little bit more va va room. And adding layers all throughout, as well as some curls, definitely did the trick. Okay, so we're finished with this look and this is the results. I kind of feel like I wish the wig was a little bit fuller. So you guys seen I cut layers in the front off camera. I went ahead and like elongated them and cut it like all the way down to make it kind of gradient. And then I also cut some layers like all throughout, which you guys know I'm not good at, but I just kind of wanted to practice. Um, I did add curls all over, but they're kind of like little loose curls just to add body to it. I didn't want just straight down blunt all one length. So again, I just kind of played with it and experiment. You guys know I'm not the best when it comes to curls. So essentially, I was just kind of practicing. I did cut the front really short, which I may have cut too much short, but I like that I can kind of you know do like a cute little feather situation like that and then the curls i may go back and do tighter curls but again i was just playing with it and i like the way it came out i really love the highlights in this one i feel like highlights can look a little bit cheap or raunchy on certain wigs but it definitely was done tastefully with this wig in my opinion again the layers are really nice in this one that i've cut and then i can kind of just do the old school situation like this and kind of play with it and that's pretty much it um as far as my baby hair i kind of feel like with the lace tint it looked pretty decent here i didn't need baby hair in the center but i do want to add a little bit off the sides i kind of like the way this is going to look like once it gets old and feathery and of course i did the sideburns as well that way i still get my taste of baby hair but essentially you really can't even see it when i have the hair in the center part this one did come from julia hair and this is their packaging i absolutely love the color and i think it complements my complexion super nice again i'm gonna go back in and play with the curls a little bit more and have a little bit of fun with it just you know for practice but yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you turn on your post notifications. Also, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and let me know if you are feeling the new content these days. Thank you guys so much for watching. Smooches!